Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Cinnamon and if you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. You are definitely welcome and appreciate it. And as you can see, I will be participating in a collaboration called Let's Celebrate Juneteenth, hosted by Shawnee from Shawnee on the Spot, where she asks that we celebrate and educate our culture and the Juneteenth holiday. The other hosts or co-hosts will be styling with Stacy, event decor and designs by Leisha, Changi's home decor and lifestyle, Debbie Bubbles, Gigi Faison for the love of decor, The Rogers House, Loving My Babies Forever, creations by Simone and of course me, Lady Cinnamon. Juneteenth is a National Independence Day, also known as Freedom or Jubilee Day, celebrating the emancipation of those who had been enslaved in the United States. Originating in Galveston, Texas, it's now celebrated annually on June 19th throughout the United States. Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation of 1862 had officially outlawed slavery in Texas and other states that had rebelled against the Union almost two and a half years earlier. Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on September 22, 1862, but it became effective on January 1, 1863, declaring all enslaved persons would be forever and then free. So guys, despite the surrender, it was not until on April 9, 1865 that Union Major General Gordon Granger arrived on the island of Galveston, Texas. And Granger's men marched throughout Galveston reading General Order Number 3. And the order informed all Texans that indeed, in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves were free. So, people in Galveston celebrated after the announcement on June 19, 1866, one year after the announcement of freedom in Texas. And now it has been organized as a Jubilee Day. So guys, recognition beyond Texas soon became more mainstream and now it's gained or garnered increasing recognition in the U.S. and beyond. Awesome. So eventually, they did have a Juneteenth flag that they created. We love that flag and the colors and to the traditions for celebrating with song, parades, reunions, and other red items like red foods that all became customary for Juneteenth. The color red is symbolizing the blood of black Americans and their ancestry. And some of the examples of red food are showing before you now. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about Juneteenth and why it's celebrated. I want to thank my gracious host, Shawnee from Shawnee on the Spot, for allowing us to participate and share in this holiday. Also, her information and all of the other participants will be in the description bar below as well as the co-host. Don't forget to go by and check out the playlist for more awesome education and celebrational information about Juneteenth. So guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps us all out so much. We do appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.